Today's video is brought to you by the Asus GeForce RTX 3070 Dual. Because I got really excited about being able to use Nvidia's new latency testing before release, and needed a 30 series card to take advantage of it. Stock is hard to get, so Asus were kind enough to supply it to me in exchange for a video talking about the card. And while I had other plans to showcase the awesome latency testing, instead we're going to look at why it's basically useless. For now. And I say for now, because there's a chance this will work later. Let me explain a bit. The goal was to get an accurate way of testing latency on gaming mice, instead of doing this human latency click test, and the bomb test, which is decent, but obviously not 100%. For Nvidia's idea, all you needed was a monitor that supported Reflex, and a 30 series card. Then you just run the USB cable into the computer, plug the mouse into the monitor, turn on the testing, and no result. Unless Nvidia had already tested the mice. So you see how it says the latency here? That's not a live result, as in that's not real time. That's the number they found in their testing. And then they just put that data in for us to see when we plug the mouse into it. Whenever that's the case, it's marked with an information point. That's mainly why they said only certain mice are supported. They're just the ones they've tested already. Yeah, useless really. All we need is one person to go through each supported mouse and list the numbers. That will save everyone a lot of time and money. The good news is, according to my testing, their testing is pretty accurate. So if they just went through every mouse for us, that would be great. But that's not the end of this story. I spoke to Razer and they gave me some special firmware. It can actually measure the latency in both wired and wireless modes. So Nvidia's idea can work. We just need updated firmware for each mouse. But we also need special drivers from Nvidia because apparently they blocked the results for us. Again, this feature is useless to the mouse community for now. That said, the overall latency testing feature is pretty cool and I am interested to see how it develops. I want to make that clear. I'm not saying the latency testing is completely useless. I'm just talking about the mouse latency feature. But it is early days, so stay tuned. I'll update with another video when it becomes useful. And that's the conclusion. This is a really cool feature from Nvidia as we focus more and more on latency. It would be awesome to have actual latency figures on each mouse someday. If you want to do the testing yourself, you need a monitor with a reflex module like the Asus 360Hz PG259 QNR and a 30 series card like the Asus 3070 Dual. I wouldn't pair that card with a 360Hz monitor though, unless you're playing a game that has a low quality graphics. Otherwise, you won't be getting the frames you want. Really nice card with some solid performance though. It should couple well with 240Hz monitors. It's just a shame I couldn't make better use of it. I was really hoping to be able to show latency figures for each mouse in each review. Instead, this one will have to go into a mini ITX build, which I am pretty excited to do because those things look awesome these days. Might not need these giant towers anymore. So stay tuned for that, I'll go through some benchmarks in that one, and usual links in the description if you want to help support what I do. I'll have more information on my mouse this month or early next. We're just trying to work out a plan at the moment. The short of it is the stuff to actually make the mice is really hard to get these days. So we just don't know timeframes yet. All you can do for now is subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.